to our channel so students in this video we are going to discuss the unit number 2 complete explanation of the subject database management system of systems subject ma okay so in previous videos we have already completed unit number 1 and this note pdf is available in our telegram group for free of cost all the links I have mentioned in the description box. Clear? So, from unit number 2, the first important question is about the characteristics of relational database design along with the examples. So, what are the characteristics, features? So, first you need to understand what is relational database design. So, this relational database design is actually organizes. It organizes the data in the form of tables. Okay, whatever the data you are having that they will organize in table for what for what purpose means to create accuracy that means correctness to be consistent and to get easy access. So this relational database design forms a table of the information to get the information with very accurate consistency and to get a early access clear ma then what are the features we are having first one is table based structure whatever the data you are having you are writing you are organizing in a table based no like student name student id student course student uh, phone number like that okay next one primary key primary key is nothing about the unique key which identifies each record for example here student is a primary key if you enter student means you will get student name student id student course student phone number everything so here student itself is a primary key unique key next atomic values atomic values contains the single and indivisible values like like for example phone numbers whatever you are storing it will be unique number yes aadhar card is a unique number yes your hall ticket number is a unique number that is called automatic values atomic values okay next one relationships using foreign keys foreign keys using with the means primary key is the, the key which you are having the unique one the remaining things are called foreign key it means tables are linked using foreign keys okay next one data integrity constraints data integrity constraints will give the information with consistency of the data along with the accuracy next it will reduce the data redundancy data redundancy is nothing about the duplication of data it will reduce it normalization whatever the normal forms you are having 1nf 2nf 3nf bcnf all it will organize the data into tables next one data independence data independence is nothing about the changes in table structure whatever the consistency whatever the flexibility you are having all these things are called features of relational database design clear ma so most important uh, question from unit number two second important question is about the relational algebra what is mean by relational algebra it is a producer query language it is a query language what it will do it will give the retire like whatever the data you are having it will have the various algebraic methods then what are the key points you are having if you are finding relational algebra in the question means this is the answer you need to write it along with the symbols whatever i have mentioned first one is procedural procedural nature means how to retrieve the data it will specify step by step next one mathematical foundation based on the mathematical relation based on the mathematical theories it will base the foundations next operands operands on relations relations is nothing about the tables is to get a output next one selection symbol is this ma okay you need to draw the symbol also in the brackets selections means select it will select the rows like for example students who scored below 60 select them who scored above 70 select them like that next one projection projection symbol is like this r small r okay so projection will uh, shows the columns in a table next to union union will combines row and columns yes next to self difference symbol is minus uh, like what it will do it will present one row in a another row like there are different names there are different key concepts you are having along with the symbols along with the symbol symbols also must and should you need to draw it so relational algebra will helpful for us 
to understand the query language and to get a optimized in database management system that is the main conclusion of this answer clear ma next to third question is relational calculus and differences between tuple and domain relational calculus so relational calculus is a non traditional like relational algebra is a procedural query language but here itself it is a non procedural query language what it will do means it it will mainly focus on what data is required okay what data is required now that is important in relational calculus thing so relational calculus thing uh, uh, what are the key points uh, side headings means first one it will separate the conditions okay it will uh, does not describe any steps uh, and it is based on the predicate logic like whatever the hypothetical thing you are having according to that only it will be able to understand next uh, output always shows the relations next it will works on rows it will have the various uh, conditions it will have the uh, easy access to understand logically like that there are many concepts you are having in this relational calculus so what does it this uh, tuple relational calculus what does this domain relational calculus okay domain relational calculus drc will works based on the domains like attribute values whatever you are having in the example things that is the main thing and it will precise it will give the most detail and precise information like that okay now you can write it the differences between the trc and drc like simple thing whatever however i have wrote whatever the screen you are seeing the same way you need to write the answer if you are finding the relational calculus in the question okay meek question lo whatever the things were occurring even the one name the answer should be same and the last question from unit number 2 is what are the different to open source and commercial dbms along with the M examples so first uh, open source dbms is nothing about the free to access everything okay like for example M mysql postgre sql maria db and sqlite these are the open source dbms which is which is widely used it is a enhanced version of sql it supports the features and complex queries yes it is very light phase lightweight which will which we can use it in our mobile also in mobile apps also we can use that is called open source dbms compulsory you need to write the examples mysql postgre sql maria db and sqlite these are the example compulsory you need to write it That then what are the advantages and disadvantages of it so advantages is about you will not have any license expenses license cost is not there and customization will be available and community support also you will get with this open source dbms then coming back to the commercial dbms commercial dbms are simple like paid systems if you are paying for that means there you will get the professional support okay what are the example oracle dbms microsoft sql server ibm db db2 and sap hna so these are the four examples for paid systems paid support what are the advantages of this highly reliable reliable means whatever the cause you are having according to that you will can work out it technical support you will get and advanced security features also you will get it okay which you will not get in open source so open source dbms are cost effective and the commercial paid dbms are suitable for large scale enterprises to get the technical support easily to understand and to get the advanced the security features very well so according to the specifications you can source you can give the priority to open source dbms or commercial dbms so this is the complete unit to explanation ma if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation see you all in the next video bye bye students